I am uh, Chef Jean Vandeville. I am the Culinary and Baking and Pastry Program Director at Savannah Technical College. And today I'm going to show you some little tips regarding having uh, something added to your gingerbread house, like some little animals if you want to do a farm, uh, and we're going to make some little trees. So, we're going to start with the trees. For that, I need uh, a green royal icing and uh, a little cone, little ice cream cone. Now, you can pick up the size you want and you put them on a little square of parchment paper. And what you're going to do first is to pipe at the base some little dot. When you finish with the first row, you can put them on the base and then now you're going to pipe a little more. And I finish with little points so it will use like an evergreen little tree that you will put in the front of your house. And having them on that little square of parchment paper allow you to really turn it all around. You can decorate this with some very little pearl and make like a, a little Christmas tree that you will have outside. Little green and red pearl that you will put on the top. There you go. And now you have a nice little tree to put by your house. The second thing I want to show you, uh, it's a little bit more, uh, I'm not going to say difficult, but it requires some little thing. But to me, it's all about uh, thinking. So I have some marzipan here. And before I work with the marzipan, I'm working that marzipan into my hand to make it nice and workable. So we're gonna make a little rabbit. So, I have the marzipan here, it depends the size of the rabbit you want to have. So, you may cut a portion here that will be the body. This probably could be the head and we're gonna take it from there. The first thing I do, I form a ball into my hand like this. And then by joining my hand like this and rolling it, I form like a cone. In the front, I make a cut and split. Those are modeling tools that you can find in a lot of places. Do a little cavity here and now I make another little ball. I'm going to measure to make sure that we are in proportion. That is relatively important. When this is done, I'm making a cut right here. So that will form the head. I separate the ears just like that. Work the ears a little bit. You can bend one slightly and then you place the head with the rabbit. Then you take a small, very small piece and you will place that in the back to make it stale. And now you have a little rabbit to go with your house. And now very, very quickly you may should have some different decoration for your gingerbread house. A little tree, little animals that you can add to your house. 